Congratulations, Zach. It was a brilliant victory. How special was it to send off Brendan Goddard in that style? Yeah, it was, I mean, it's awesome. It's always good to win, and uh, especially with Beige's uh, yeah, last game for the footy club. Um, he's been such a role model for a lot of guys here over the last six years and um, really taught everyone how to be a professional footballer and, and demand high standards. So it was great to send him off um, with a win and, and a performance like that um, tonight. Uh, yeah, over here, a hostile crowd, and um, yeah, it's awesome that we, uh, we get to enjoy the win together. What kind of influence has he had on you personally? Uh, yeah, I mean, in his first year, we used to go um, to the Young Street Cafe like, every week for, um, when we were down at Windy Hill there. Stuck down there, and um, yeah, he was a sort of mentor to me in that, definitely in that first year he came here. I was still young, about 23 at that stage, and um, just, yeah, just taught me how to be a professional footballer and, and uh, how, to, um, how to go about it, and, and really just the way he, he demands a lot from others, but most importantly, he demands it from himself, and um, he leads in a, in a great way um, that a lot of guys can follow. And, um, just professionalism and, and the way yeah, he drives team standards because he wants success and um, fortunately we weren't able to get the ultimate success with him um, but he's leaving this club in a better place than what it was when he first got here. Now you spoke about the crowd earlier, obviously a really strong start helped take them out of the game a bit. Do you think that's some of the best football you've played in that first quarter? Yeah, I mean it, it took me back to the, um, I didn't play in the game but the uh, Perth game we played West Coast. Um, when I was out there tonight it felt like when I was watching that game, uh, our first quarter we just yeah, blitzed them and sort of um, yeah, uh, took the uh, the real edge out of the game. The crowd wasn't in it the first quarter and that kind of thing. And I think that's important on the road. You, you try and get the crowd out of it as early as you can. And um, you always got to start well. Otherwise, chasing on the road is harder than holding a lead. Um, and I think, yeah, we've, we've really turned our away record around um, this year. I think we've won our last four in a row um, away. So um, historically, we haven't been great on the road. But all of a sudden this year now, teams uh, going into hopefully next year have to start respecting us on the road because, uh, yeah, we've travelled quite well. And Port did chase down as well. They, they really gave you a big fight at the end, but how, how much maturity do you think that that showed that your side has really developed now? Yeah, well, I mean, they're, they're a quality side. Um, they've been competing for finals all year and, and been in the top eight most of the year, so we know they're always going to come. Home crowd, they got some stars in that team, so we always knew they were going to come, but it was just we had to try and match them and, and keep lifting our intensity the whole night. And um, Yeah, it was great that they challenged us, but we were able to, to match it and, um, and then yeah, sort of hold them at bay and, and keep the scoreboard ticking over, which was important. And you did have some other challenges as well with Louis going out quite early. Are you happy with the way that you fought that off? Louis' first quarter I thought was outstanding. Um, he really set us off and he was probably the reason why we were up six goals to one at quarter time. And yeah, it was disappointing that he ended up going off with, a, with an injury because um, he was so influential early. And yeah, great for the boys. We've, we've sort of over the last sort of six weeks copped a few injuries during games. So we're, we're kind of used to three rotations or two or one. So um, yeah, we, we, we uh, survived it well again. And obviously a great win like that, what kind of a boost does that give you heading into the break and are you really just hungrier than ever to really get into it again? It's quite frustrating. We finished 10 and 4 and um, lost three games by under three goals. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's exciting. Like the future's um, good for us, but it's very frustrating that, um, yeah, we're, we're a side that in 14 games we're 10 and 4 and um, we're ready to rock and roll, keep playing. The boys are playing, yeah, great footy the back end of the year and we're ready to keep playing into September, but we're not going to make it. So, um, yeah, it's, as long as... As long as next year we, we come with the same attitude as of round one and um, then this year isn't a waste. So, uh, it's, I think if, if we come with the same attitude knowing we can play this way then um, and then next year, this year's not going to be a waste if, if we can produce this footy from round one onwards next year. Um, and the boys, the boys know what it takes now. They know, what, they know we can be a good side, they know we can play good footy and as long as they get a break now and we come and refresh and um, we're ready to go as of round one next year then um, as I said I don't think it's a waste, I think it's a great learning curve. Um, and I think we, uh, this group, besides probably BJ, well, yeah, BJ, the, the whole group's going to be together. Um, so I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a massive step forward for us. Well, congratulations for today. Good luck during the break and enjoy it. Cheers. Thank you.